Hi everyone, M Mal here, and we're back on Watch Dogs. This is episode two. Uh, we've just done the first episode where we found out the niece of uh, Aiden had been killed. Um, someone had put a hit out on his family, and now he's wanting retribution and revenge for what's happened. So we're going to have to go out and see if we can find out where these bad guys are. We've taken out Maurice who was the guy who caused the accident but we think there's more behind it so let's see what we could do there we go so it's Maurice Vega we we'll give him a good kick in. I need to get my mind off things. Lucky for me, this city's full of distractions. And they can't hide from me. Board game enthusiast. I know what board game she likes playing, I bet. Also, to be game enthusiasts. Cool people. Get out of the way, chair. Right, so what we'll do, we'll hack a few people as we're walking along then and get the money, which is pretty cool. I have to thank CTOS one day. Simple breach of their facial recognition software, and I've got access to everyone's personal details. That'd be so awesome to get the personal details of everybody on your phone. Just hack in, find out what's going on on people's phones. Well, I suppose it's good if you're nosy, but I think it'd be awesome. That guy's out of control. Oh, we've got a crime. I'm not going to let him hurt anyone today. Simple trace of his call and oh, he's let's mine. go and trace this uh, criminal. See what we can do. Might as well hack a few people as we walk there. So we are a good guy and a bad guy, I guess. All right, he's here somewhere. Just move carefully. Don't get spotted. Let the profiler do the work. Right, let's see if my phone can find him then. Oh, someone got multiple and paid parking tickets. Police will be after you, mate. All right, this guy should be close now. She must be the woman he's after. Right, where is it? <laughs> oh, there's a victim. Right, I let's keep the cursor on there. See what we can do. Oh. Hey! There's a bad guy at the end. There is nothing to talk about. Well, let's We're go again. Deal with it. Right, I'm here we go. Yes, I gotta stop him now. Right. Oh, what are you looking at? Boom! Brilliant. Oh. Aha! Don't fuck ah. with women! <laughs> Not on my watch. You won't bother anyone now. Oh, no. Let's go have a walk around the city. Damn. Drop your sign there, mate. Blocks, mad, mild, the shocks. Oops. That's a cool car. Nikki, hey, I know, I know, the party started. It's almost over. Where are you? I'm on my way. Ugh, you make me crazy. Jackson's really looking forward to it. Get over here. We miss you. I miss you too. I'll be there. Sorry, Nick, I need to take this. I'll, I'll see you soon. Good. You got out. Look, if you need some wheels, give me a call. I'll, I'll set you up. Pre-owned cars? You'd rather register yourself at a car dealer? I don't ask questions. This guy gets me any ride I want. And you, if you need it. I just might. 
How's Maurice doing? Oh, he's all sunshine and buttercups. I'm gonna dump him at my little dumping place. I need him alive, Jordy. Yeah, yeah, alive. Whatever. Goes against your better nature, huh? Well, I'd pop him and be done, but hey, you pay me right, I'll keep him alive as long as you want. I do work for a paycheck. You need to keep him alive so that we can go and find out who is the other bad guys. Right, we should be able to now call in a car then. So, oh, you can get trucks as well. That looks like a cool car, we'll have that one. Pretty sporty. Alright, she's all prepped and waiting just for you. They parked it across the road, that's nice of them, isn't it? Alright, we can get that car. Then we'll head up to the party. I wonder if they've got clowns there. I hate clowns. Kids' parties seem to always be full of clowns. Or magicians. Alright, well, that is something else we could do, it looks like. To check in to different areas for their Wi Fi, I'm guessing. So, uh, as we go around the city, I'll be checking into them. And I don't know what it does, but we'll find out a bit later on, I suppose, as we play the game. Let's go and get in this car then and head over to the party. I don't know what these mare is and all the rest of it. There must be a way of doing it, it's probably really online. Right, here we go then. More bad driving. I should have had right away there. The city is pretty, uh, pretty mad, really. Seems a busy place. I wonder if it's actually the same layout as Chicago. I know it's based on Chicago, but I'm just wondering if it is the actual same street layout as Chicago City. That'd be pretty cool if it was. Have to keep an eye out for CM Punk. Right, here we go, we're at the checkpoint, so we'll open the gate and uh, start the next mission. Here we go. Big Brother. I haven't been in Nikki since the funeral. Am I ready? Jack's last birthday, Lena sang off key. Happy birthday. Full throttle, no holes barred. Now, I'm afraid of the silence. I'm amazed that he's able to actually go to the house because I thought the parent would be pretty pissed off that he was in charge of a child when she died. I don't know if any of my kids were ever like that. It'd be, uh, I wouldn't be speaking to them. <laughs> Alright, let's go around the back then. Okay. Here it goes. How old are you today? Ten. Jelly and ice cream. No, I think you're nine. I'm ten. Nine. Ten. Nine. <laughs> ten. Well, in that case, uh, you deserve ten birthday tickles. What? One, two, three, four, <laughs> oh. five, six, Stop. seven, eight, oh. nine, ten. <laughs> ten. Ten. Stay here for a second. Ten birthday tickles. His mum could have got him something better than that. So, an entire year and... and yeah, late. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nate. Really. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You look older. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> I 
It's his first birthday without Lena. Oh, how's he doing? Still doesn't talk to anybody but me. Yolanda says it's his way of maintaining some sort of control. Yolanda? His therapist. She's helping him. It's good. Just slow. It's hard, but we're gonna He's get ten years it. old. I'd be expecting him to be on a Vita or something like that. Jax. Not playing with teddy bears. Hey. Or whatever it is. S sorry, I'm late. Can I, uh, can we get a hug? Wow. You are big. <laughs> oh, maybe it's not a teddy bear. Right. Hey, what, what do you got there? Something else. Wow, the healer. Cool. You bought him a real toy, huh? Hmm. Why don't you bring up your toys? I'm gonna speak with your uncle. Yeah, I'll be I'll be up there in a sec. So I guess the kid's all screwed up now because uh, because of his sister's death. I just need to make sure that things are different. Things are different. You and Jax are the most important people in my life. I'm not going to stop watching out for you. <laughs> Always the big brother, huh? Well, at least he's looking out for you. God, some women not grateful about anything, are they? Last time I was back here, it was Lena's birthday. Jackson adored her. We all did. Right, let's have a look around our house. Then. You missed all the fun. The kids were playing vigilante, imitating that guy they keep talking about on TV. Needs a bit of decorating, I think. Jax was the vigilante. No, they were all the vigilantes, and I was the only villain, but I make a mean bad guy. <laughs> I gave him hell. I should have come earlier. I could have warned them. Don't mess with my sister. Remember when you and mom were both sick as dogs, but should have done this like MTV Cribs. Birthday cake. Well, we found some that meds. That's all right. We'll take them. Oh, we're full of meds now. That was dad in a nutshell. He did a lot of ugly things, but it was always about family. They've got. They've got. <laughs> Listen uh, to me. Oh, I'm let's rambling. Hack the computer. So they've got a camera in the house in the corner. Why would you have a camera like that? Oh, really? <laughs> no, 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 don't let me interrupt you. Oh, he's playing on his iPad now. That's a better toy, really, isn't it? Who is this? <laughs> you think blogging caller ID will hide you? Nope. <laughs> I don't know what's so entertaining, but the police won't find oh, here we go, crunk caller. I'm going to give you right, some let's advice. Let's uh, hack into a phone and hear what's going on. Go outside, meet people, get a life, and stop. Listen, the police can trace this call. I know where you live. How are the locks on those doors? Who is this? Why are you calling? Do you feel safe, Nikki? All right. Time to go and check. Who was that? Doesn't matter, just some stupid crank it happens. Do you think this is strong enough? Look, did you know his voice? Oh, Jesus, Aiden, just leave it. It's fine. It's fine. He thinks he can get inside. How do you know what he thinks? You're checking the locks. Look, I can handle this on my own. We do not need your help. Nikki, I can find this guy. Hey, look, Aiden. God, you have not changed at all. We do not need your help. Please stop trying to fix our problems. Every time you try, you just make things worse. This family must have pissed off somebody pretty chronic. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. To be getting all of this grief, they've killed a kid. And now they're getting funny phone calls saying that they want the rest of the family. Grown man making crazy. I don't get it. That woman must See, have been up to something in her previous so years. There right, well we found the mobile caller, so let's go and kick his ass. Damn it. Oh, there he is, it's just the over the road. Go. 
Get in the car. Here we go. Crap driving. See if we can catch him. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Threats to my family again. Right. See if we can catch this guy and kick his ass. Fish tail. Oh. Going for the fish tail there uh, and missed. We'll get him next time. There we go, that's a fish tail. Perfect manoeuvre. He needs to get out yeah. of his car now. I'm sorry, I yeah. overreacted. Maybe not, he's still going. You just make me so crazy. Wonder if we've got to actually destroy the car uh -oh. then. Come on back, okay? I promise I won't freak out on you. Oh. You're going after that creep, aren't you? Well... You're doing it right now. I can't believe you. It's not like that. Stop oh. being a hero I thought we'd have been able to catch him there by putting the bridge up and then the bridge went down. Yeah, the call's breaking up. I can't hear you. No, ah, there we go. Now he'll we'll get out of his car because his right car's on fire, I yeah. think. Hello? Yeah, there he is. You still there? Oh, can't look it. Okay, gotta go. Oh, he's shooting oh. me. Take you down with a baton. Just run over the top of the car. Brilliant. Oh, I get why it is. There we go. Don't fuck with my sister. That's him down. Let's hack his phone and see who he's working for. So we have a deal? Shit, yeah, I can't believe you're paying me that much just to make a crank call. Nikki Pierce, right? I'll mention the locks like you said. And her kid. I, I, this feels wrong. That's the point. Feels wrong because you're not supposed to crank call anyone. Someone paid this asshole to harass Nikki. Who would pay for something like that? A lot listening to the actual YouTube crank callers it's sometimes. They're funny. Any of those CTOS hacks? Yeah, I'm still trying. Taking a photo. Hi. <laughs> Give me time. You can have a few photos okay. of me. I need your help then. Can you trace a phone call? How can I refuse my best client? How you doing, handsome? Wait. What am I looking at here? It's from a guy who threatened my family. I want to know who hired him. Well, the call came from somewhere in the Loop District. But that's as far as I can see. Okay. I can hack CTOS inside the loop. Then I should be able to pinpoint the source. We've got to be connected to the CTOS. Loom's building a new CTOS center in the loop. It's perfect. DedSec tried to attack that center last month. We failed, and they just added more armed guards. So it won't be easy. Be careful. You sound like my sister. Relax. Make sure I'm armed and dangerous. Yeah. You sound like your sister with a deep voice. Ironic. Oh, oh, let's get this well, yellow car. There's private contractors to guard their CTOS centers. Are you kidding me? These guys will be geared up and wired for action. But I'll be ready. Come on. Let's go see what we could do at the CTOS place. Oh, they found the police. Alright, so the police are trying to catch us again now. Every few minutes it seems like there's a bloody police chase. Or well, the police are going to be after us. Can't get away from them. At least we can drive to the next island and stuff like that. Because I think it was on... Grand Theft Auto, they give you wanted stars and everything for going to the next island, but this one you seem to be able to just go straight anywhere you want, which is cool. Right, anyway, let's make it to this yellow marker and do the next mission. So we've 
can do. Go and buy a gun. I think this is a gun shop. If CTOS doubles their guards, I better double my weapons. Yeah, we're going to buy a, an assault rifle just because you can. I don't check on you or anything to make sure that you're allowed to have a rifle, but who cares? Just buy it anyway. Black market guns. Over the past few weeks, CTOS centers throughout Chicago have increased security due to several attacks from activist hacker group DeadSec. When asked about security changes, Bloom spokeswoman Charlotte Gardner was decisive. Chicago's safety is paramount, so we've hired private security for every CTOS control center. These highly skilled peacekeepers have trained in the most dangerous regions of the world. In fact, Ms. Gardner, these peacekeepers you refer to are military mercenaries, many with criminal records. Oh, Isn't that true? So now we're going to go and take out a load of mercenaries. We should hardly reject our brave soldiers for proudly serving their country, should we? All right. Our CTOS network is well protected. And that gives the comfort they deserve. That was Bloom spokeswoman Charlotte Gardner discussing CTOS security. Holy shit! Ah! Well, if there's a camera in there, we might be able to get in without even going through the actual gates, which is a bonus, so we'll have to have a look when we get there. Because that's what we did when we went through the through the stadium, so uh, yeah. So we could do the same here. Oh, I think we're at the place. This new security is no joke. I need access. How to find out who's targeting my family. I want that voice box. Alright, let's have a look, see if there's any cameras anywhere, see if we can get in. There's a gate. There's a camera. Let's see. Gotta find the access card on the on the guard. Okay, so make our way in. Very discreet. I bet some of the actual signs that are on these people are going to be funny if they're mercenaries. This guy's actually got a camera on himself. Got stuck there at a window. Let's try again. See if there's another way. There's quite a few cameras in here. Oh, splat! Sorry. It was an accident. <laughs> so beatboxing. Sounds it. We need to find a way into this place to find the guard with a card. So he's got a hidden camera. There's the guy who's easy. He got the code. No. No code on him. Must be a case of getting that guy. With a camera. Oh, there we go. There's a camera. Right. Let's see if we can find that guard now. They're all on the guard because we just dropped the crane on that bloke. Cause a bit of destruction to get them to all come to the one place, see if they can get there. Surely that's going to make them all come over and have a look. I think it's awesome the way that you can switch cameras to get around without even having to go into the place to do the fight. That's brilliant. Ultimate stealth. Oh, here we go. 
Let's go on this camera now. This guy's walking around. See if we can find out. He might walk up to the guard who we need to speak to. Okay, there's the thing we've got to hack when we've got the code. So we just need that code. Come on, where's the guy? Don't see we're stuck here with him, not looking at the bloody guard. Ah, there it is, there's a code. I got it. Right, now we should be able to hack in then and find out who it is. No, and we're through to the next bit. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just going to click things and hope. There's bound to be a way of figuring it out eventually. But at the minute, it's just click and hope. Seems like we've got to make the loop. So, there we go. That's the loop made. Right, now we're in the server room. Bingo. Okay, time to hack. That's it. I'm hacked in. What? You mean you're in the CTO? Yeah, we're badass. I'm looking at the network as we speak. You've got your access, and I've got mine. Profiler systems online. Everybody's nasty little secrets at the click of a button. This thing's highlighting all kinds of. Pretty much out of the way Facebook's going. I could take advantage of some of this. Keep an eye out for online traffic. Oh, no, five players to hack. That'll be cool. If I can see them, they can see me. All right, I gotta move. I mean, a lot of noise here. Give me time to track your caller. I'll be in touch. Bit like Dark Souls, that where you can invade people. It looks like that's really cool. Can get annoying if you're the person who keeps getting invaded, but you know, nice addition to the game. Right, let's go where we've got to go to now. We've got to escape, so we'll just escape from there. Job done. So. Hey, I need you to cover something for me. What is it? I lined up a lucrative deal with a very demanding client. He needs a driver. No. But here's the thing. I come in this morning, find Maurice trying to dig his way out of the guest room. So I need to move him. Now I could pass this problem on to you since Maurice is really your problem. But that's not my style. I always finish what I start and all I'm asking of you. All right. Fine. Yo, yeah, well, we want that Maurice. Well, no, don't let me push you out. I said I'd handle him. It's the job. Exactly. It's a delivery job. Gotta move some guy. I mean, how hard is that? <laughs> With my driving, it's gonna be well hard, I'm afraid. He's paying top dollar for the best driver in Chicago. Then he's in luck. You want the best driver in Chicago? Don't fucking phone me, then. Look at that. I keep smashing my bonnet. Don't phone me if you want the best driver in Chicago. It's bound to be other people who are better than me. Let's boot it all the way back here. Follow the blue line. But that sets it up nicely for the next uh, the next mission. Go and park up again. Back into a disabled spot. Beep beep. Right. Blue badge on. Out we get. Off we go. Bloke playing with dolls. Okay then. Right. Well, what we'll do, we'll head inside. 
and have a lay down. We know your family. So it can save it. CTOS goes beyond security cameras and utilizes a number of advanced state of the art detection methods. City streets, buildings, schools and hospitals. CTOS and we'll call it a day there. Okay, so if you like this episode of Watch Dogs, then uh, hit the like button, comment and subscribe. Follow me, like me and add me on Twitter, Google and Facebook. Sometimes I do streams and live streaming on Ustream and Twitch, so if you want to head over there and hit up ML, I should be on there most days. And if you want to see the next episode, click on the bottom corner now. Till next time, bye for now.